Hello, I'm Bobby Hellard and I'm here at Barcelona's Fira Gran Via for MWC 2022, where we're going to check out the latest in mobile technology. Now, the theme for this year is Connectivity Unleashed, and that suits many of the devices on display, with ultra-thin portable laptops for remote work and innovative home office solutions. And of course, it wouldn't be Mobile World Congress without a smartphone or two. These are just some of the devices that caught our attention over the week. While its smartphone business has struggled, Huawei's PC revenues have remained strong. So it makes sense that the company has now expanded from laptops and tablets into desktop PCs with its MateStation X, the company's first all-in-one desktop machine. This comes with a 28.8 inch touchscreen monitor and an AMD Ryzen 5000H series chip. Stylistically, Huawei has gone for a rather neat and appealing minimalist aesthetic. That also applies to the display, which has razor-thin bezels and an effortless hinge that can be adjusted with just a finger. Now, one of the most exciting features on the MateStation X is also available on Huawei's other PCs. This is the super device screen sharing software that lets users link their Mate series tablets, computers, or even phones to the MateStation X. The UI resembles a solar system with the main machine, the MateStation, as a central planet with available devices in its orbit. It is a very simple and elegant system housed in what appears to be an excellent all-in-one desktop. Samsung has already started off 2022 in bold fashion, releasing a Note-like S22 Ultra earlier in February. However, the South Korean giant still had some surprises for MWC, releasing a new range of Galaxy Book laptops. This included the Galaxy Book Pro 360. Now, it may be a bit of a mouthful, but as its name suggests, this is a two-in-one version of its Galaxy Book range, and it comes with S Pen support and a rather crisp-looking touchscreen display. Like most of the devices we've seen at MWC, this is aimed at those who work on the go, with a 68 watt battery said to last up to 21 hours. But what users will really like is the portability of the 360. It's just 11.9mm thick and super light, so you will not notice it in your backpack at all. And to please IT departments, Samsung has incorporated security features into the design with a Microsoft certification called Secure Core PC. Now this is in the entire Galaxy Book Pro range with hardware and software protections that work in tandem with Windows 11 to seek out and block threats at the firmware level. This was by far the best tool one we saw at MWC and we look forward to giving it a full review later in the year. When it came to smartphones, Chinese manufacturers dominated the opening day with handsets on display from Honor, Realme and OnePlus. However, it may very well have been Oppo that stole the smartphone show, just not necessarily with its new Find X5 Pro handset. In fact, Oppo's SuperVoc charger was arguably Monday's biggest talking point. This is a 240 watt fast charger that can take a 4,500 milliamp battery to full in just nine minutes. This will be released with the Chinese company's next handset, so not the Oppo Find X5, but the one after that. Now, Oppo really did pull some focus here. Just hours beforehand, Realme unveiled its GT Neo 3 handset with a 150 watt fast charger, which was, up until that point, dubbed the fastest in the world. Now, having such a high voltage charger does raise all kinds of questions about overheating, but Oppo say they've created a holistic solution that takes the charger, the cable, and the phone into account. This includes a new control chip to manage voltage, current, and temperature and an array of sensors on the smartphone, which does suggest that this new charger may not be available for older handsets. This was arguably the most groundbreaking announcement at MWC, and it was also the most popular attraction at the Oppo booth. The OnePlus 10 Pro is coming to the UK earlier than expected with a release schedule for March. Unfortunately, there is no exact release date, and there will also be no standard model of OnePlus 10 released in the UK for the time being despite the fact that it's now available in China. The latest model carries on from 2021's OnePlus 9 Pro with its Hasselblad camera partnership. The Swedish camera maker's influence is largely software-based, which is represented in its classic orange shutter button. Users will be pressing that to capture images with a 48 megapixel wide lens, a 50 megapixel ultra wide one, and an eight megapixel telephoto lens with a free time optical zoom. When UK users do finally get their hands on the OnePlus 10 Pro, they may find it is more appealing in person than it has been in its advertising. It comes in either green or black with a matte finish that has a slight rubbery texture. 
The lack of a standard version in the UK may not go down very well, but we really did like the design of the 10 Pro, which looks to be another flagship killer by OnePlus. While there was a plethora of launches and product displays at the show, unfortunately not everyone made it to MWC 2022. Firms like Lenovo, Realme and Honor did provide stream presentations, but chose not to attend in person. However, the event was well received and did provide a decent snapshot of the kind of PC and smartphone hardware that could go on to define the year.